Hey everyone, Jamie here from TechnicalCafe.com. Welcome to your 14th HTML tutorial. In the last couple tutorials, we talked about adding lists to our web pages, um, whether they be ordered lists, unordered lists, or definition lists. So if you haven't seen those and you're interested, please feel free to check them out. Um, but in this tutorial, we're going to take a break from adding text and lists. Um, for the most part, we're going to do one little thing with text, and we're going to talk about how to change the background color of our web page. So Previously, what we've been using for our background color was just white, and uh, that can get kind of boring after a while, especially if you're uh, making a like a professionally designed website. So instead of that, we're going to use uh, for this example, we're going to use this nice bluish color here, and um, we're going to change our text color to white just to make it blend in a little bit better on the background. So let's just come over here. This is the code. It's not much different. In order to change the background color, we're going to be adding uh, one of two attributes to the body tag, similar to how we'll add an attribute to the font tag, uh, like here and uh, right here. So um, let's just clear this out and we'll get started on that. So we'll save this here, come over here and refresh, and we'll notice that the page is completely blank. So let's start adding in our HTML code here. Add in our head tag, and within that we'll open up our title. I'm going to call this uh, changing background color, but you can call it whatever you want. Changing background color. And we'll say in HTML. And we'll save that, come over here and refresh, and you'll notice that our title is right here in our tab. So, what we're going to do now is add our body in here. And refresh, uh, save that, and come over here and refresh, and you'll notice that it's still blank and we still have our white background. And the reason for this is because we haven't yet added the uh, attribute to the body tag. And like I said before, there's two attributes. There's either um, BG color equals and then uh, some quotation marks. And again, it's important to have the quotation marks, um, not so much in HTML, because I think HTML will ignore it if you don't have it. But in other programming languages like Java, um, JavaScript, PHP, things like that, um, the quotation marks are important. The code might not run correctly or might not compile correctly if you forgot the quotation marks. So um, it's just a good practice to get into now, especially if you're interested in learning uh, some other programming languages or scripting languages. So uh, the BG color tag is one, and what this tag does is it actually changes the background color. Um, and you can pick from a wide variety of colors. We're going to use uh, hex color codes in a second, show you what those are. And um, the next tag we can use is the background tag. And again, just background equals and uh, quotation marks. And this changes the, the background image. So these are basically the two tags that we're going to be using to change the background of our uh, HTML pages. Um, so let's just get rid of those here, and we'll get started. So the first thing that we did when I started the tutorial was I showed you um, our white text on our blue background. So let's go ahead and add our text first. We'll say use our H3. And if you remember from the header tutorials that H3 is probably in the middle of the header, so there's H1 to H6, um, with 6 being the smallest and 1 being the biggest. So uh, we'll call it changing HTML background colors. And we'll just get rid of the HTML. There we go. So if we save that, come over here and refresh, you'll notice that we have our changing background colors in HTML header tag here. And uh, this is kind of just to remind you what we're doing to show you, uh, maybe add a little something to the page to show you what it looks like. So. Let's go ahead and change our background here. The first thing we're going to do is change the color of it. Um, and if you'll remember, we use our BG color tag, or attribute rather, equals, and then some quotation marks. So there's actually two ways that you can change the background color using the BG color tag. And one of the ways is using just regular words. You can say BG color equals white equals black, uh, green, red, blue. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like. We'll use the red. Eh, we'll use blue, actually. So we'll save that, come over here, and refresh. And you'll notice that we have our blue background. Um, this is kind of, I don't know, this is a little bit too dark for me. So uh, we'll come over here and we'll actually get rid of that and I'll show you, it's back to white. So I'll show you, now look at the color that I was using when we first started the tutorial. It's a little bit lighter of a shade of blue. Um, but instead of typing in like light blue, um, we're going to type in uh, a hex color code. And what a hex color code is, is it's basically a different next numbering system. It's in hexadecimal rather than uh, base 10 or decimal, which was what we used, you know, 0 to 9. Um, so hexadecimal uses 0 to 9 and then A through F to give you 16 different uh, characters that you can use to represent numbers, um, whereas we only use 0 to 9, which gives you 10 characters. So there's actually uh, hex color charts available online where you can view the hex color code. Um, but before we get to that, what we're going to do is uh, 
In order to add a hex color code, all you need to do is add a pound sign or a number sign, whatever you want to call it, um, to the tag right over here. And this is going to indicate that you're going to be using a hex color code. So if we come over here and we go to our web color chart tab that I have open here, uh, and the website's html-color-codes.com if you're interested in checking it out. And this website lists a bunch of hex color codes and also sells some uh, like color code books and mouse pads and posters and stuff like that if you're interested. Um, but the hex color code that I used for the, the bluish color that we started the tutorial with was 99CCFF. Um, so you can have the color codes for a bunch of different uh, colors here. Whatever color you want to use, you can use, but uh, I'm going to use this blue one. So if we come into our code here, right next to the pound side, we'll enter 99CCFF. Um, so it's just six numbers or letters, depending on which uh, color you're using. And uh, remember to have the hashtag here. So we'll save that up, come over here to our, our page and we'll refresh and you'll notice that we have our nice blue background here. Um, so one thing that I had in the uh, when we started the tutorial was I had the white text. And I just think the white text kind of looks a little better and blends in a little nicer um, with the blue background. So we'll come over here and change the color. So if you remember from our font tutorial, font color equals. And uh, you can also use hex color codes here. Um, so the hex color code for white is actually hashtag um, 6Fs. And uh, let's just close off that. And we'll save that, come over here, and refresh. And you'll notice that we have our nice white uh, color and our nice blue background. So uh, we can just, I'm just going to put this as white just to show you the difference here. Uh, you can use either one, doesn't really matter. And this still gives you the same result. So this is how we uh, go about, about changing our background color. Um, feel free to play, with that, play around with it, change the font color, the background color. Uh, just to see what the different colors look like on your computer um, and just play around with it. So now we're going to go about adding a background image to our web page. Um, so we'll come over here and change the attribute from BG color to just background equals and then our quotation marks. And again, it's important to have these, uh, especially if you're not using HTML and using a different programming language. So to add a picture to our background, what we're going to be doing is we're going to just, we can either, if you remember from our HTML image tutorials, we can either use the uh, dot slash and then the image name in extension um, and what this does is basically says uh, the image is provided the image is in the same directory it'll just add the image in using its name uh, this is just a little bit of directory structure right here saying it's in the same folder um, if it's not in the same folder the directory structure changes a little bit like dot dot slash stuff like that so I actually have um, a picture the same picture that we used for the picture tutorial uh, in the linking images tutorial it's a picture that I took at school one day I mean, that's what we're going to be using as our background. So um, just come over here and we can go dot slash picture dot jpg um, and the picture is saved on my desktop just like this tutorial is. Um, it's on the desktop saved there so um, there should be no problems loading it in so if we save that come over here and we refresh you'll notice that we have our picture um, and the picture that I had was the, it's the file size was quite large in the because um, the image itself was quite large I think the, I'm not sure what the file size was but I know the image was so the image was quite large, and um, so the white color here looks nice on the blue background. And provided we maximize this here, uh, you'll see that we do have a little bit more in the corner. But so let's come back over here, and uh, we'll I'll show you another thing that you can do if you want to add an image to your web page. So one thing that you can do is add it using the directory structure here. Um, but let's say you want to use a URL. Uh, let's say there's an image you like online, provided it's copyright free. You don't want to start infringing people's copyrights. Um, so all you need to do is enter in the URL of the picture. So it can be uh, background equals quotation mark HTTP uh, website dot com slash picture dot JPG and uh, the image will display from the website to your website. Just again make sure that you're not stealing someone's bandwidth or um, you know infringing on their copyrights before you do that because you could probably get in a bit of trouble. So you can just use dot picture dot JPG and now this is just the picture that's on our desktop. If you have it in the same folder, you don't actually need this little directory thing here. Uh, you can just save it, come over and refresh, and it's still going to be there. And again, I just like the white color on the blue background. I just think it looks nice. Um, but it's up to you, so feel free to play around with those. This is how you go about changing the color and uh, background picture of your web pages. Feel free to play around, you know, change the color, come over here to the hex page and just insert different colors. Uh, play around with the font color just to find out what looks best for you. Um, and hopefully this will be a nice thing that you can use to enhance your web pages or in, if you're building pages for other people, enhance their web pages. Um, so 
if you like this tutorial, feel, please feel free to subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, you can also send those to me either in a comment, uh, in a tweet. I'm at twitter.com slash jamiemcg. Um, Technical Cafe Twitter will be listed below. It's Technical Cafe. Or please feel free to check out the Technical Cafe website where we have tech news, tips, tricks, stuff like that. So thank you for watching, and have a great day.